space, the final frontier, and science knows more about it now than ever before. But unless you're an astronomer or an astrophysicist, chances are you were never updated from what you were taught as a kid. That's right, many of the things that you've been taught about space that you've been believing your whole life are in fact wrong. This is Myths You Still Believe, the series all about explaining the truth behind the most commonly believed myths, and today we are exploring a topic that is out of this world. Literally. So prepare to unlearn many of the things that you've believed your whole life about space because I'm about to boldly explain what's been wrongly explained before. These are seven myths you still believe about space. Earth and Venus are identical twins. Let's start with a pretty common one. The idea that's been planted in our minds is that Venus, the second planet from the Sun, is Earth's exact twin. Well, as it turns out, Venus isn't blue or green in color, despite what many grade school science fair projects would have you believe. Instead, it's actually a swirling mix of grays, browns, and yellows. This misconception is because of the planet's incredibly thick atmosphere that reflects 60% of the sun's light and hides raging sulfuric acid storms that would dissolve you literally in seconds. Additionally, very little of Venus's surface isn't covered in molten lava flows, so yeah, it's, it's hot. Meteorites are hot. Movies and books are the main source of this little piece of fiction. It's said that if you happen upon a freshly fallen meteorite, you should avoid contact with it as it will burn you. However, since these rocks have been floating through the ice realm that is space for billions of years, they're only actually a few degrees warmer than absolute zero before falling. And while yes, entering the atmosphere does heat objects up, the temperature difference between almost absolute zero and a flaming projectile results in a roughly lukewarm meteorite. Of course, the Martian that accompanies it is a different story altogether. Just don't, don't poke him. The sun is yellow. Here's a pretty simple one. What color is the sun? Well, if you're like most of the population, you answered yellow, light orange, or some other fire-related hue. But the reality is we only see that big star as yellow because of the light reflectiveness of the Earth's atmosphere. That's right, the sun is actually white. And we have two clear pieces of evidence to prove this. The first is when something burns as hot as the sun does, roughly 5,778 degrees Kelvin, it burns pure white. And of course the second is that astronauts that we have sent up there for various reasons have taken a quick peek and they told us it was white. Black holes are super vacuums. The scariest thing that you can encounter in space besides psycho clown space pirates is a black hole. The myth claims that once a black hole is formed, everything nearby it gets sucked into it and destroyed. Where matter goes once it enters a black hole is still a mystery, but the gravitational pull of a dead star is the same as when it was burning bright. Thus, if our sun became a black hole today, first we'd freeze to death, but other than that, we, along with everything around it, would simply continue to circle this lightless celestial body roughly until the end of time. The Dark Side of the Moon Whether you enjoy the Pink Floyd album or the lame Michael Bay Transformers movie, when someone mentions the dark side of the moon, you likely know exactly what they're talking about. The claim is that there's a side of the moon that is forever bathed in darkness. People believe this because we always see the same face due to its orbit and spin. However, the truth is, unless there's a lunar eclipse, the sun definitely does hit all sides of the moon within one Earth day. Meaning that, and I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but there is no legendary dark side of the moon. It just Purely in entertainment, my friends. Sound in space. In movies, space battles can be amazing with cool weapons and explosions, but they do get one thing very wrong, and that is the audio. You see, sounds and vibrations are carried through the air or other mediums to the ear. Space is, of course, a vacuum, which means that there's nothing to carry noise. Now, that's not to say that there is no sound in space at all. It just means that when there is, there must be a channel for that sound to travel along. Interesting bonus fact, your voice would sound much higher on Mars due to its atmosphere, kind of like this. Ah, yes. How does that sound, right? Very spacey. Yeah, that's how it would sound. Good thing we're on Earth. So basically, all that you need to know is that in space, nobody can hear you scream. <laughs> or whisper. Or fart. Or chew obnoxiously loud. You know, it wouldn't be that bad. 
Humans explode instantly without protective suits. I feel sorry for the person that busted this myth. The belief is that if you opened your helmet or otherwise exposed yourself to the vacuum of space, either you'd instantly freeze or your body would explode. The truth is you can actually survive in space for around 30 seconds without permanent damage, but it would most definitely suck. What would actually kill you is the asphyxiation due to the lack of oxygen. Your skin would offer some protection to your internal organs, slowing the speed at which your blood would begin to boil, and you'd likely swell up to twice your normal size due to the lack of pressure, but you would definitely not explode. Don't worry, you're not a human balloon. Pop! And those were seven myths you believed about space. But not no more. Look at you now, you all smart and stuff. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to leave a comment on this video letting me know what the next topic of myths you still believe should be. Be sure to click that red subscribe button to be notified of future videos on my channel. On the right, you'll find an annotation to my last video as well as an annotation to some cool merch if you're interested in picking some up. You'll also find an annotation to my second channel where I make vlogs, unboxings, and and much more so be sure to subscribe to that and of course for all of you on your mobile device like your phone or tablet all of the links I just mentioned will be in the description below I love you guys thank you one final time for watching and I will see you next video spaceman out